Hey, what's going on everybody? Glad to see you guys back here on the channel. Now, you guys know I bought all my Ryzen stuff last week, all my Ryzen 2 stuff, and I've been trying to get this system going since then. It's been kind of an uphill battle and I still haven't got there. But before I jump into that and tell you guys what I've been going through, I wanna give some special shouts out to people. First of all, number one shout out to you guys, the fans. I totally appreciate everything that you guys have done for me over the past few years and what's really weird is I've actually started shaking on my right hand side now instead of my left and uh, you guys are great fans. My next shout out is a guy named Alan. Alan, thank you so much. This dude sent me some money so I could pay for my doctor bill today. Um, I'm gonna go in and, ha and probably look for pre-surgery on my shoulder, my rotator cuff. We're not sure which is bad, but uh, I'm in so much pain right now. I can honestly <laughs> hardly even talk. And then last but not least, this dude, Matt in BC. Now this guy actually works on a cannabis farm and he's gonna send me a bunch of stuff that doesn't have any THC in it whatsoever. Cause like I said before, I don't like feeling high at all. And hopefully this stuff will help me with the pain. Now, this system has been a nightmare. I'm just saying this right off. This, this AORS board, I don't know. I think it's pretty bad because I'm gonna tell you guys, we've gone through all kinds of procedures to get it to go. I've tried different power supplies. I've tried different memory. We've tried different drives, everything. And this system plain and simply will not go into Windows. Now, the only time in the past, out, sorry guys. Uh, the only time in the past that I haven't been able to get a system to go into Windows is when I was overclocking and there wasn't enough juice to either memory or the CPU to propel it into the Windows environment. And this system is showing those exact same type of things. It just will not complete Windows whatsoever. So first off, I tried changing out a couple different sets of memory. You know, I went in, I set the XMP profile, I turned it off, we tried all that. We tried setting the motherboard to all its default settings. We tried a different power supply. We've tried multiple different drives. Now, the configuration for this system right now is this beautiful case right here. This is a very nice case from the people over at NZXT. This is the H440, it's the purple edition case. It's really nice. We have the the uh, the Gigabyte AORS, the X47, this is the Ultra Gaming Edition. I guess the people who were sampled directly from AMD, they got a Gaming 5. This is the Ultra Gaming Edition. Inside of it right now are 16 gigabytes of Kingston memory at 3000 megahertz. Like I said, I've tried a couple others. I've tried a data, I've tried some crucial stuff, all the same results across the board, never booting. I have inside of here, I have what's called a team group. There's some new company that makes all kinds of SSDs and stuff. This is a 480 gigabyte SSD. And our far boot drive is just a standard, a standard Seagate two terabyte drive, excuse me, sorry man. I'm, I'm actually starting to sweat from the pain, but I really wanted to get this video out so you guys would know what's going on. I don't want you to think I gave up or we weren't trying this because Jesus has been trying since Monday to get this thing going. He keeps hitting me up for questions. We've called over to Gigabyte for, for tech support. They basically told us to shut off the, the onboard, onboard um, Wi-Fi and, uh, and unplug the cable because they said there's actually an issue, I guess, with some versions of Windows 10 and that. We've tried that. It got a little bit farther, but as soon as it got to the desktop, it just completely froze up, which is pretty much what it's been doing along over and over and over again. So at this point right now, I'm pretty much certain this motherboard is DOA. Um, it's... it's um, and the CPU, really rarely ever have I seen a bad CPU out of a box. I mean, these are like, you know, billion dollar factories that are making these things. So it's very rare to get a, a bad, a bad, a bad, a bad CPU. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to contact Gigabyte, see if we can RMA this board out and get a new board and see if we can get this system going. But that's pretty much where it's at. We haven't given up or anything like that. It's just, we're just not getting anywhere. We actually went and we watched Jay-Z's video. We saw where he went through all kinds of crap and ended up being a power supply. So like we've messed with all that to make sure that's eliminating it. But honestly, I don't feel like it's power issue from the power supply because we've tried two different ones. We have the C-Sonic, we have this one in here. I tried a little higher one yesterday. I just plugged in the basic stuff and tried it. Did the same exact thing and froze up. So at this point, I don't really know where else to go. I've also tried multiple different video cards, video cards that required power, video cards that didn't require power. And honestly, I just don't think it's the power supply whatsoever. I'm at this point really focusing on it being the board. So hopefully the people at Gigabyte will allow us to either come over there, oh God, will either allow us to come over there and uh, 
and, and try to like look at the board themselves or just out and out RMA the board so that we can get started. But I did want to leave you guys hanging, you know, about this. Now, this afternoon, if I do go, I have pre-surgery at 2.30 today. If they do take me to surgery, you guys probably won't see me back on video for a few days because I don't really know if I'm gonna get a cast. I, I've never had my shoulder operated on before, so I don't know where that's going to go. But if you guys are interested in building a system like this, down below the like button, we'll have a list of all the parts that we're using in this particular build. And it's just, it's just one thing in here. All the other parts are absolutely fine. Like, there's no reason why, you know, any of these drives shouldn't be absolute great for building any system. They're both solid equipment. So at the end of the day, that's where we stand. I really thank you guys for watching. We will one way or another, even if I'm in bed, we'll make a video and I'll explain to you what happened with my shoulder so I keep you guys abreast. But you guys have been absolutely wonderful. I totally appreciate you more than words could ever, ever, ever say. Alan, Matt, thank you guys so much. And you fans, like I said, you guys are amazing. I love you. I'll see you guys back on here as soon as possible.